Uh, this is the last day of the octave of Easter and uh, it has been declared by Pope St. John Paul II as Divine Mercy Sunday. You know, when we look at this familiar gospel, it seems that we can just identify ourselves with the apostles as the Lord, the listen Lord, appeared to them. The first one, observe here, they were in a room and the doors were locked. They were filled with fear because they witnessed the passion and death of Christ. They were at a loss. They did not know what to do. They were not sure whether the promise will be fulfilled that the Lord, as He said, would suffer and die and will rise again. Alam nyo, ganyan ang karanasan natin ngayon, hindi ba? Halos nakasaray yung mga gate ng bahay natin, mga pintuan, takot na takot tayo, ang tindi ng pagtaas ng mga infected cases, Gusto nating lumabas sa bahay pero nag-aalinlangan tayo, nagdadalawang isip. Baka tayong sumunod na ma-infect. That's why we find ourselves after one year still on locked doors. But then look, the doors were locked, but the Lord penetrated a locked door. And He appeared to His disciples and said, Peace be with you. Yun na lang po ang panghahawakan natin. Sa gitna ng takot, nervyos, pag-aagam-agam, yung kapayapaan na dulot ng Panginoon. Wala na po tayong babalingan. And then second, you will observe in our Gospel, Thomas was not there. The disciples were telling him, we have seen the Lord. But he said, no, I will not believe. We have here the doubting Thomas. Nagduda siya, sabi niya, unless I'm able to put my fingers on the wounds of our Lord, I will not believe. Para din tayong doubting Thomas, di ba? Kala natin, after one year, giginhawa na tayo. Tinignan natin, past two weeks, parang hindi bumababa yung infected cases. Yung mga variants, nagwo-work double time. Kaya para nagdududa na tayo, matatapos ba itong pandemic? Matatapos ba ito? Dati ang mga tinatamaan, pa isa-isa, dalawa-dalawa. Ngayon, pamipamilya, mga community, grupo-grupo ang tinatamaan. Like Thomas, we are doubting. We do not know anymore. Even those in leadership, whether you're in the church, in government, wherever you are, you're even doubting your capacity to manage this situation. Kakayanin ba natin ito? Napupuno na, punong-puno na yung mga hospital, nagdadagdag na ng isolation facilities. Tatagal pa ba itong ECQ? Matindi na ang tama sa economy. Maraming walang trabaho, maraming nagugutom. After one year, parang lumala ang sitwasyon. Nagdududa na rin tayo, katulad ni Tomas. And then look, when the Lord appeared a second time, He gave again that greeting. 
peace be with you imagine this is what he told Thomas peace be with you in your doubt I'm here before you hold on to your faith however difficult the situation believe that I am here and then third when the Lord said, Thomas, put your fingers here on my, on my hands, my nail marks, the side. Kapain mo, eto ako. Look at the response of Thomas. My Lord and my God. Di po ba parang ito rin yung sinasabi natin? Panginoon ko, Diyos ko. Mahal ko na sa buhay. Nahahawakan ko ang sugat dulot ng COVID-19. Asawa ko, anak ko, kapitbahay ko, yung hindi ko inaasahan na kaibigan, kakilala, nakikita ko sa Facebook, patay na. Wala na ako magawa kundi sabihin, rest in peace. Panginoon ko, Diyos ko, wala na akong marinig araw-araw kundi sirena ng ambulansya. Panginoon ko, Diyos ko, my Lord, my God. Kahapon, peak na naman, over 12,000 infected. Nahahawakan ko ang sugat dala ng COVID-19. Di ko alam ang gagawin. And the Lord told Thomas, Hey, you believe because you saw me. Blessed are those who have not seen but believe. Yan ang panghahawakan natin. Ngayon, nasa dilim tayo. Pero sa dilim, panghawakan ang pananalig sa banal na awa ng Diyos. And that is the message of the divine mercy. Believe that I am here. And in the midst of darkness, all we can say, Jesus, I trust in you. Wala na eh. Hindi na natin mapagtiwala ang kasarili natin, kakayanan natin, kundi ang banal na awa, the divine mercy of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, on this feast of the divine mercy, let us pray to the merciful Jesus. Let's express our lamentation. Let us plead to the divine mercy. Put a stop to this pandemic. Manikluhod na po, magpatira pa na po tayo sa Panginoong punong-puno ng awa at sabihin natin Lord, have mercy on us. Panginoon, mahabag ka sa amin. At naniniwala kami ang habag mo, ang mananaig. That is what Saint Faustina Kowalska said. The revelation to her is the ocean of mercy, isn't it? Ano pa bang tatalo doon? Kapag ocean of mercy, yung COVID-19, matatabunan. Paliliguan yan 
ng awa ng habag ng Panginoon. Gagaling po tayo at sa awa at kalooban ng Diyos matatapos ang pandemya. We just have to say, however many times, not only three times, but so many times, even the whole day, even in silence, just say, Jesus, I trust in Thee.